<laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. It's Friday evening again, and we're gathered together once again as the people of God, as the church of Jesus Christ, to cry out unto his name this evening. Hallelujah. I want to start by welcoming everyone. I want to assure you this is going to be a wonderful time. We're going to have a, uh, a beautiful time worshiping and praying and crying unto the Lord. Hallelujah. You know, the Bible told us, uh, Jesus said to his disciples, he said, a nation shall rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom. There shall be famines and pestilences and earthquakes in diverse places. And he went mm -hmm. ahead to talk about many things. But in all this, Jesus never asked us to be afraid. Jesus not, never asked us, us to, uh, you know, to panic. But in all, he said, watch and pray. Hallelujah. Therefore, this evening, we're going to be uh, following the command of Jesus. We're going to watch and we're going to pray and we're going to cry out unto God. And we believe that God will do something in our land. God will do something in our nation and God will lift up every one of us. Hallelujah. Amen. Now, I want to thank everybody for being here. And um, we're going to follow the same format that, we are that we've been um, uh, using uh, in the past three weeks in which we, um, you know, call on uh, certain people to, to lead prayers. If you have not been called, if you have not been, um, if I haven't reached out to you, don't worry, uh, your turn will come soon. Hallelujah. Amen. So I'm going to be calling on Sister Lynette now. Sister Lynette will kick the meeting off. As usual, I could say, she leads us for 10 minutes, and I want to encourage everybody, whether you're the person leading or not, this is not a spectation time. It's, this is not a football game. It's not. We're not watching TV. I want you to actively engage in prayers. Hallelujah. Uh, if your family, your children, you know, call everybody together. Let's pray and cry out unto the Lord. If my people who are called by my name, if they humble themselves and pray, I, the Lord, I will hear from heaven and I will heal their land. Amen. Sister Lynette, over to you. Amen. Can everyone hear me? Yes. Amen. Okay, I'm just going to start with the scripture first. I'm going to read from Exodus chapter 3, verses 13. Then Moses said to God, Indeed, when I come to the children of Israel and say to them, The God of your fathers has sent me to you. And they say to me, what is his name? What shall I say to them? And God said to Moses, I am who I am. And he said, thus you should say to the children of Israel, I am has sent me to you. Tonight, I want us to begin by praising God. His word says that he is the I am. So tonight, let's just call upon his name. Let's just worship him and give him the praise for he is the I am that deserves all our praise. Let's pray. Hallelujah. Father, Lord, we come to you tonight with thanksgiving in our hearts. We thank you, Lord, Father God, for you are the I am who you say you are, Lord God. Father God, we come with you with so many needs and you are such a faithful God. Lord, your word says that when we need a healer, that you are the I am. Father, your word says that when we need a deliverer, that you are the I am, my Lord, Father God. When we need help in the midst of the trouble of God, your word says that you are the I am. You are the one that goes before us. You are the one that goes beside us. For you are the I am that you say you are. You are our God. For your word says that you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, the one that goes before us. We give you honor. We give you praise. We give you praise, Lord, Father God. We adore you your name of God is there anything too hard before you Lord God is there anything too hard unto you Lord Father God for you are the I am that fights for us for you are the I am that makes the way for us for you are the I am that continuously opens doors for us and we give you worship we praise you and we adore your name Lord Father God in Jesus mighty name we pray hallelujah 
Hallelujah. Our first prayer point I want us to pray for tonight is for all our brothers and sisters in the Lord that are backslidden. Let's pray that God will bring them near, especially in the times that we are living in. Let's uplift them up. God knows them by name, and God is a God that does impossible. So let's pray now in Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord Father yeah, God. Lord, we come into agreement tonight, Lord God, and we uplift up <laughs> our brothers and our sisters, Lord God, who have lost their ways, Lord God. There is nothing too hard for you, Lord God. Father, we stand in the gap tonight, Lord God. You are the God that can do wonders, for your word says that you are a God of signs and wonders, Lord God. Manifest your power unto them. Show them that you have not for God's in them, Lord God. Father, we pray tonight, Lord God, that you will reveal to them that tonight you have them in their in your hearts, Lord Father. We pray that tonight, Lord God, that you will saturate them with your love, that they will feel your intangible love, Lord God. Father God, we declare tonight upon their life that they will turn back, that they will turn back, that they will come back to a knowing of you, Lord God. Father, we declare your joy is their salvation. Father, we declare tonight, Lord God, that you will open their eyes to see Lord Father God, that you will open your ears to hear from you, Lord God. Father, we pray, Lord God, that every seed that has been planted in their hearts, Lord Father God, that they will be revived again, that you will revive them again, that you will revive them again, my Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we come against every spirit of discouragement, Lord God. We declare, Lord God, upon their life that you will encourage them, my Lord God, tonight, that you will encourage our brothers, that you will encourage our sisters, my Lord Father God, for there is nothing too hard for you for you are the i am that has called them for you are the i am that has healed them for you are the i am that continuously makes ways for them my lord god in your name jesus father we pray tonight lord father god that you will give them ears that hear my lord god that you will speak forth your word lord god that they will hear lord god that you will turn them around we tonight we declare lord god a change is coming a change is coming a change is coming upon them my lord father god in your name jesus draw them nearer into you lord god draw them more deeper into you, Lord God, that their relationship with you will go deeper and deeper, Lord Father God. Revive their hearts again, my Lord God. Give them a new song of joy that they will lift up their hands unto you for you are their helper, for you are their healer, for you are the God that makes a way, Lord Father God. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Our next prayer point I want to pray for tonight is for the church, that the church will arise, that the church will arise, that it will not be stagnant, that it will not be scared of what's happening in the world. Let's uplift up our church using Shoreway as a place of contact. In Jesus' name, let's pray. Hallelujah. Lord, Father, God, we uplift up your bride before you, Lord God, that you will prepare your bride for your coming, that you will prepare your bride for your return, my Lord God. Oh, Lord God, we cry for holiness tonight, that your church will come back to holiness, that your church will come back to holiness in the name of Jesus. Oh, Lord, Father, God, revive your church again. Again. Revive your church again, my Lord God, that it will walk in justice, that it will walk in its righteous calling, what you have called it to be, Lord God. Father, we declare upon your church tonight, Lord Father God. God, that you will stir up your heart, the hearts of your church again, my Lord God, that they will walk in reverence, that they will walk in a reverence and in honor of you, for you are their God, my Lord God, in your name, Jesus. Revive the hearts of our pastors, revive the hearts of our leaders, Lord Father God, revive them again, Lord God, that they will preach your word with boldness, that they will not be strayed, that they will continue to walk in your ways, my Lord God, in the name of Jesus. Father God, we pray right now, Lord Father God, that you will continue to to expose, expose every lie of the enemy that is operating against your church. Expose every spirit of darkness for the your word says with the spirit of the Lord is there is freedom. Lord, we declare tonight, my Lord, Father God, that you are exposed, that you will bring freedom into your church, that it will not hold back anymore, that it will preach your word in this fallen world right now, Lord God, that it will arise, that it will arise, that it will arise, Lord Father God, in your name, Jesus. Father God, we pray, Lord God, that you will continue to give your church a spread of boldness, a spread of courage, that it will walk in its rightful place in your name, Jesus. Oh, Lord God, we pray tonight, Lord Father God, that you will have mercy upon your church, my Lord God, that you will have mercy upon your church in the name of Jesus, that you will intervene on our behalf, my Lord Father God, that your church will prepare the way for you are coming back, Lord Father, for you are coming back, Lord Father God, and your church shall be ready. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Yes, Lord God, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Our next prayer point I want to pray for tonight is our marriages. Let's pray that God will strengthen our marriages. Let's pray that even though the husbands and the wives are at home together at this time, that God will continue to draw them closer to each other. Let's pray, hallelujah, in Jesus' mighty name. Father, we declare your word that says that who you have put together, no man shall separate in the name of Jesus. Father, we declare, Lord, Father God, that every spirit that is coming against our marriages tonight, for God, will be consumed by your fire, will be consumed by your fire, Lord God, we speak, Lord God, where the enemy is, is having havoc in our marriages, that you, Lord God, will raise up a standard, my Lord God, that you will raise up a standard, my Lord God, that your peace will fall upon the husbands, that your peace will fall upon our wives, Lord Father God, that your peace will fall upon our homes, my Lord God, in the name of Jesus, oh Lord Father God, we pray tonight, Lord Father, that you will encourage our husbands, encourage our wives again, my Lord God, that your joy will be restored in our marriages, my Lord God. I pray, Lord Father God, that even they are home at this time, that you will continue, continue, continue to work on them, my Lord, continue to draw them closer, Lord Father God, that they will come together in the secret place, that their intimacy, their prayer time, their family time, Lord God, will be closer and closer to you, my Lord God. Oh, Lord Father God, I pray, Lord Father God, for husbands right now, Lord God, that you, Lord God, will give them understanding in order to deal with their husbands. Their wives, I pray, Lord God, for the wives of God, that you will give them peace in their hearts, my Lord Father, that you will encourage them together, my Lord God, in your name, Jesus. Oh, Lord Father God, we declare, Lord Father. Father God, upon marriages tonight, that you will cover them in your precious blood, Lord Father God, that you will continue to rain down, rain down upon our marriages, my Lord God. Father God, division is not from you. Division is not from you, Lord Father God. You are not an author of confusion, my Lord God. We declare your joy. We declare your peace. We declare, Lord Father God, in our marriages, Lord God. We cover all our marriages in your precious blood, Lord Father God. No divorce, Lord God. No separation. Even when there's arguments, Lord Father God, that you, Lord God will continue to give them peace that you will restore, restore our marriages again, my Lord God. Father, we speak reconciliation, reconciliation, reconciliation on every marriage that the enemy has torn apart, Lord God, that you will reconcile, Lord Father, that they will know that you have not forgotten about them, that they will know that you are the God that continuously fights for them, my Lord Father God, in your name, Jesus. Oh, Lord Father God, we declare over our children as well your peace, even though they are at home at this time, Lord God, we declare your peace upon our children, my Lord, Father God. We declare our homes will be filled, filled with your presence, filled with your Holy Spirit, my Lord, Father God, in the name of Jesus. We declare, Lord, Father God, that you will strengthen, strengthen our marriages, strengthen our homes together, my Lord, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Amen. Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Back to you, Pastor Bright. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Lynette. Amen. Thank you for that wonderful time of prayer. Lord, we pray your blessing on your daughter. Bless her richly, O oh God, in Jesus' name. Uh, the next, we're going to call on our brother, Brother David. And um, Brother David is going to lead us, uh, continuing from where we left off, as we continue to cry unto the Lord this evening. Over to you, Brother David. Thank you, Pastor Bright. As we continue to pray this evening, Father, Lord, let's continue to thank our Lord Jesus for the little things and the big things that he's done for us, for this family. Let's continue to thank him for providing with shelter clothing, keeping our family safe within this pandemic era. Father, Lord, continue to thank the Lord for his mercies and blessings that you've poured upon yourself, oh Lord. Thank you for every single thing he's done for you. Thank you for protecting you, for driving you, taking you from home safely to work safely and bringing you back. Thank you for the food that is placed on your table. Thank you for the shelter, the house that you are in there. People are lying on the street to go to Hardy Quality Dockland. There are people on the street that are begging for food. But you and I know that, that, that the, the Lord Almighty has provided for that abundantly, that we have something to eat. Let's be grateful and thank him. This evening, Father, Lord, we pray and ask you that may you continue to protect and guide us. May you continue to provide for us. May you continue to protect our family in the mighty name of Jesus. This evening, Father, I come before you and I ask for your protection and guidance. We soak ourselves and our family in the Holy Ghost by in the blood of Jesus. Father, Lord, as we continue to pray this evening, we pray that we anoint our kids, oh Lord. We pray that continue to provide the wisdom, the knowledge, understanding with attentive memory in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray against any 
any demonic spirit, any plan of the devil, of the enemy against them, compounding it with suicidal thoughts that Lord, we cancel it, we break it in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, this evening, we continue to pray and we ask for your absolute protection over every single human being that is close to us, every single thought, every single member of the church in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we pray and ask for your presence in our home. We pray and ask for your protection of our home. We pray that we continue to ask you, we surround our home with the blood of Jesus. We soak every single corner, every single step that we make in our home in the Holy Ghost fire. We soak the four corners of our house in the Holy Ghost fire. We soak the four corners of our bedrooms in the Holy Ghost fire. For any plan of the devil in terms of sickness, in terms of any disease that the devil might plan to dwell with, to destroy us with, Father, we cast it, we break it, we destroy it in the Holy Ghost fire, in the blood, of, with the blood of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus. Father, listen, we pray and ask you that may let, listen to our prayers, oh Lord, every single prayer we are offering you this morning, this evening, Father, Lord, may May let it be highly established in high heavens in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we continue to pray and ask you that and continue to pray and ask that we continue to lead and continue to bless the leaders of this country in the mighty name of Jesus. That's my next prayer point, oh Lord. Let's continue and ask the Lord Almighty that may he continue to guide and direct the leaders of this state, of this country, oh Lord, in the name of Jesus. We pray that may he guide them with the wisdom. May he guide them with the, with the direction, oh Lord. With the wisdom to rule and break places of those that will take us out and then the name of Jesus. Father, this living, we continue to pray and ask them to take absolute control. Every single leader in this country, in this state, or that has in a position to take policies and procedures, to take decisions, or that is going to affect the church, Lord. Father, we pray and commit them into your hand, O Lord. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, this evening we come before you and we continue to pray and ask you to take absolute control of our our of our families, extended families back home, and even those within that are with us in Australia here, Lord, Father, we pray that we continue to provide for them back home. I always call back home and they tell me that, look, situation back home with, because of this pandemic is not easy. I don't know about you, my brother in the church, oh Lord, so I, we know that the Lord that we serve will never let them go uh, hunger, oh Lord. We'll never, we'll, the Lord will never let them go hungry in the name of Jesus. He will fill their cups and it overflow and overflow in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that we continue to provide for them, our uncles, our nephews, our cousins, oh Lord. Father, we pray that they may let your will be done in your life. We surround them, oh Lord, with the Holy Ghost fire. Shower your mercies and blessings upon them in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, bless you for listening to our prayers in Jesus' name. My next prayer topic is, oh Lord, for us to pray in the name of Jesus this evening, oh Lord, I will pray and commit our workplaces in the Holy Ghost, in the blood of Jesus. Any plan of the devil, of the enemy, oh Lord, that the devil has planned to destroy our workplaces, oh Lord, in Father, Lord, to take away our jobs that we've got, oh Lord. Father, we pray this evening that no devil, no plan of the devil, of the enemy against us, against our job places, you know, our colleagues, oh Lord, at the job work, Lord, will ever come to pass, oh Lord. Let's continue to pray and ask that the Lord Almighty, oh Lord, there will be peace among ourselves in our workplaces, Lord, there will be harmony between ourselves and our bosses in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, the Lord Almighty will direct us, O Lord, will control our face, O Lord, in our workplaces in the mighty name of Jesus. That no plan of the devil, O Lord, will come against us between our bosses, O Lord, between our work colleagues, O Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Let every single decision we take in our workplaces, Lord, make it fruitful to a mighty name of Jesus. That is we come to you, we continue to talk every single body, every single one. That has got job. Even those who are out there looking for job, we put them on open new doors for them, oh Lord. Oh God, people on them who will break it open right in the mighty name of Jesus. But let every single where they step, all oh they think of every single thing they even think of, oh Lord, may it be fruitful and multiply. Let every single that their hands are laid upon it, oh Lord, Father, may you let it be fruitful and multiply. I will continue to pray and let, let you, your anointing of us, oh Lord, we continue to pray and stoke ourselves in the Holy Ghost fire. In the mighty name of Jesus, we ask you by God, the Lord Almighty, continue to bless us, continue to guide us, continue to protect us with every single decision we take in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. My next prayer topic is pre to ask the Lord Almighty this evening to take absolute control over the church leaders, our pastors, their wives, their, their kids, oh Lord. There's a lot happening in this world. But anoint them. 
and direct them all on, to be able to fruitfully produce and teach us for to be able to get something beneficial from the church that we are we are attending. But like this evening we come before you in the name of Jesus. I may pray for me, our pastors, all our church leaders, the ministers, even their families, all Lord, before you. We pray for your anointing over their life, O oh Lord. Father, we pray that may you open their eyes, O oh Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, may you feed them with the wisdom in the mighty name of Jesus, so that they'll be out there and, and give us and feed us with, with, with your word that will change lives, O oh Lord. With your word that will be healing of, of our people, Lord. We pray that, O oh Lord, and ask you that every single soul that they touch, O oh Lord, may the person receive anointing and total healing in the name of Jesus. Every single soul that our pastor will lay hands upon it in the church, on any where be online or anywhere, oh Lord, may the person receive healings in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, any single place that their hands touch, oh Lord, any single person that hear their voice in the mighty name of Jesus, let that person hear, receive healings in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, this evening we come before you, Lord. you said access shall be given unto you. And Father, Lord, this evening we come before you, and we say that, oh Lord, every single time we ask you, oh Lord, let your will be done in our life in the mighty name of Jesus. You said access shall be given unto you. And for this evening we come before you, and we soak the our pastors their wife, their Lord, in the Holy Ghost fire, in the mighty name of Jesus, in the mighty name of Jesus, let's continue to pray, Lord, and soak your, yourself, oh Lord, let's continue to pray and even ask the Lord himself to take full control of our we the individual. Pray and commit yourself into the heart. Pray and commit your family in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, this evening we come before you and pray and commit my household in the, in the name of Jesus into your hand, oh Lord. Continue to guide every single of us, Lord. Continue to protect us, Lord. As some go to school, as some are doing online learning, Father, in the name of Jesus, open their minds up, Lord. It's so difficult to even be learning from one side where the learning through the screen, Lord. Father, it's not easy. And Father, this evening we come before you, give them the patience, give them the perseverance, oh Lord, to be able to excel and go through all these teachings that is their teachers have been taught through them in the mighty name of Jesus, through online, Lord. Those who are going to school, Lord, Father, we pray for their safeguard, oh Lord. Father, whenever they move to school, Father, we pray and commit the environment that they are within, oh Lord, into your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we thank you, bless you for listening to our prayer and continue to listen and provide for us in the mighty name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, bless you in the name of Jesus. Pastor Amen. Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we thank you, O oh God. We thank you for our brother David. We ask that your grace and your power continuously rest upon him and his family in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. People of God, we still continue in prayer. But at this time, let me just quickly uh, bring it to your attention. Uh, Sister Belinda, uh, the church administrator, will be sending out the details for uh, the, the tithe and the offering. As we know, even though we are in lockdown, our church hall, we still have to pay uh, a lot of things, electricity be water be light be rent, and, and all this, hallelujah. We need to keep the place functioning, amen, so that when the lockdown's lifted, we have a place to, to go back to, hallelujah. So I want to encourage everybody, Sister Belinda will put out the link, your, your offering, your tithe, hallelujah. Let's give unto the work of the Lord, hallelujah, to promote the work of the Lord, even at this time. Hallelujah. Amen. At this time, I'm going to invite Sister Belinda Atad. Amen. And uh, Sister Belinda, she's going to be leading us in the next round of prayers. Sister Belinda, over to you. Hello, everyone. Okay, so I just want to continue to thank God for sacrificing his life, life to save ours. So for 2 Corinthians 5.21 says, For he made him who knew no sin to be sin for us, that we might become righteousness of God in him. So I just want to thank God, Lord Father God. I want to thank you, Lord, for what you did for us on the cross. When you took all our sickness, disease, sin, inequities to the cross, Lord Father God. You are a holy God. You are a holy Lord, Father God. We praise your holy name. We worship. We honor you, Lord Father God. We thank you, Lord, for what you did for us. I also just want to like one of my prayer points is, is um, with everything going on with this coronavirus, you know, for our parental rights. Now, I don't know if people are aware, but, you know, um, when we send our kids back to school, they can they classify them. If they classify them as a mature minor, that could be at any age. They can administrate a vaccine if, the, if they're willing or any medical procedure. So I just want to pray against this. 
Lord Father God, we lift up our children to you, Lord Father God. We ask, Lord Father God, for you to protect our children, Lord Father God, that none of these demonic activities shall come yes, upon Lord, them, Lord Father God, that you'll protect them all Lord, always, Lord Father God, that they're going out and they're coming in in the name of Jesus, Lord Father God. We pray, Lord Father God, that no devil shall touch our children, Lord Father God. We pray, Lord Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, that you send your mighty angels to heaven to come and protect our children, Lord Father God, to protect them, Lord, surround them, Lord Father God. In Jesus' mighty name, we place a hedge of protection around them, Lord Father God. We decree and declare, Lord Father God, that they, we, we decree and declare that the, that the full armor of God be upon them, Lord Father God. We place upon their head the wealth truth. We place upon their weights about the truth. Lord Father God, we place the full armor of God upon them, Lord Father God. We decree and declare, Lord Father God, that no devil shall touch him, Lord Father God, in the name of Jesus, Lord Father God. We thank you, Lord. We praise you, Lord Father God, for protecting our children. I also want to pray against these mandated vaccines, Lord Father God. You know, people can't go to their workplaces or you know, they're mandated. We just want to pray against it. This is setting a stage for the new world order. People need to wake up in this hour. The people need to wake up because this is not just about a virus anymore. In you, you, you know, like this is this is setting a stage. Are we going to give into this this vaccine? Are we going to give into everything the government? Are we going to give into the mark of the beast? We need to wake up. So, Lord Father God, I pray right now that you protect us, Lord Father God. I break every spirit, Lord Father God, behind this demonic activity, Lord Father God, in the government, the politicians, Lord Father God. I pray, Lord Father God, for your protection to be upon us. I break every power of the enemy over this vaccine mandating in the name of Jesus, Lord Father God. I pray, Lord Father God, that you'll protect each and every one of us. I also pray for the people that that their eyes are closed, that the veil will be taken off, Lord Father God. They open their spiritual eyes to understand and see what's going on here in the spiritual realm, Lord Father God. I pray, Lord Father God, and I thank you, Lord, for everything you're doing for us. I thank you, Lord Father God, in Jesus' mighty name. I also want to pray for our unbelieving spouses and family. So anyone that has unbelieving spouses and family, Lord Father God, we just lift these people up to you, Lord Father God. We pray right now in the mighty name of Jesus that you will open their spiritual eyes and heart to receive from you, Lord Father God. We know, Lord Father God, all things are possible through you, Lord Father God. We trust you, Lord Father God. We know, Lord Father God, and we pray that you open their spiritual eyes and heart to receive from you, Lord Father God, in Jesus' name. I thank you, Lord, and I praise your holy name, Lord Father God. <sighs> I'll also, I might just give that back to you, Pastor Bright. Thank you. Amen, amen. Thank you, Sister Belinda. Hallelujah, Lord. We ask that your grace and your power continuously rest upon your daughter. Bless her, lift her up, oh God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We're not going to ask our sister, Sister Sylvia. Amen, Sister Sylvia. It's your turn to lead the church in prayers. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Pastor. Hello, everybody. Praise the Lord. Thank you, um, Lord. I just want to say the Lord's been putting this in my heart. Uh, the scripture from Psalm 118, 17, and this I ask directly to anybody who may question. I said, uh, I shall not die, but live and declare the work of the Lord. I say again, I shall not die, but live and declare the work of the Lord. Oh, hallelujah. Father God, I thank you, Jesus, for many have questioned, where is your God in a time like this, where your people and your church are being tossed? I say to them that the God has never forsaken us. He has never left us. Open your eyes and see that he's right there. He taste and see that the Lord is good. Oh, hallelujah. Father God, I thank you. I raise up the church, Lord Jesus, in this hour, Father God. Many are feeling, uh, many are, are, are weary, Lord Jesus. I pray that you would strengthen your people, Father God, to take us from level to level of our Father God, to open our eyes to see, my Father God, to see that you have never left us, my Lord Jesus. Yes, no matter what comes at us, that we know you will never forsake us, Father God. I thank you, Jesus. At this moment, Father God, I, just, I lift up my brothers and sisters in the church, my Lord Jesus, whether they are here in Australia, whether they're in India, in Africa, wherever they may be, my Lord God, that we all stand together in unity, Father God, to praise you, to, to honor you, Father God, to know that you are a God that never sleeps. You are a God that never slumbers. Oh, hallelujah. Father God, at this moment, Lord, let us know that you are there with us, Father God, that you are strengthening us more and more every day. Doesn't matter if we come together in a church, Father God, we are your church, Father God, we are your people, my Father God. We stand up, my Lord Jesus. We stand up for what you have uh, put in our heart, Lord Jesus. Yes, we come against the enemy that comes against marriages and children and all these things that the enemy is trying to break us with, my Father God. What you put together, let no man put asunder, Father God. I pray, Father God, that everything that the enemy is trying to break, Father, that, that has 
that you have consecrated my father as holy and good. My father, we stand on your word to say again, Lord Jesus, we, we are your people, Father God. Put that fire back in our hearts, Lord Jesus, never to go cold and weary, Lord Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Shantra Baba Hiriki. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Abba Father, I pray for all the pastors and all the people in ministry, Lord Jesus, especially at this time, Lord Jesus, that they would also continue to stand, Father God. Father, we hear news from all around the world. There are many falling away, Lord Jesus, but this is the moment that we need to come together and stand stronger and, and, and bolder, Lord Jesus. I thank you for all my brothers and sisters in faith, Lord Jesus. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. Father God, as we put on the whole armor of God or above Father Jesus, I pray that you would equip us, my Father Lord, at this time and at this moment in time where we are seeing so many things happen, Lord God. Help us, Father God, to never ever give up our faith. In the name of Jesus, we pray, Father. We put a hedge of protection around all our children, Lord Jesus. We hear the news, Lord God. We know what's coming, Father God, but help us to be ready, Lord Jesus, to be ready more than ever in the past, Lord God. I thank you, Jesus. So glory, hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Jesus. Father God, I as you put in my heart, Lord, um, for our church building, my Father God, it's not just about a building, Lord Jesus, but it is a sign of the goodness, Lord Jesus, that if your people sowing, Lord Jesus, for a good thing, for the ministry, Lord Jesus, to be for the gospel to be preached, preached from to every corner of the earth, Lord Jesus, I I say this that God is able to bless you abundantly. Um, so that all things at this time, have, having all that you need, you will be abound in every good work, Father Jesus. We stand on your promise, Father. You're a, you're, you're a father in this time who never fails your children, Lord. Bless the people who have given, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Abba, Father. We yes, praise Lord. the holy and praise yes, all your precious name, Lord God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy thank Spirit. You, thank Father you, God, I thank you for everything good that you have placed in our lives. Father God, I pray as of now, just glory to glory. We come, Lord Jesus, using Pastor Philip as a prayer point of healing at this moment, Lord Jesus. We thank you for all the good things that you have done in his life, and we pray for oh, all God, the sick people, Lord Jesus. Yes, Philip Father God. God. Touch Philip him, Lord God. Let him know that his people Rabba have not stopped Rabba praying for him, Father Rabba Jesus, that we will hear Rabba and hear of a miracle Rabba and a testimony Rabba to Rabba come, Father God. Rabba thank you, Abba Father. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. For all the people who have stood by his Lord Jesus. Thank you, Abba Father. We rebuke the enemy that comes against his life in the name of Jesus. Every cancer and every other every other works of the enemy has to stand still in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Abba Father. Thank you, Jesus. Um, I know this is something that has burdened everybody's hearts, but as we look to the country of Afghanistan and we look at the people who are struggling there, Father, we know there are many, many, many of your people struggling and are hiding, Father God. We pray that you would give them shelter, Lord, that you would send your ministering spirits to them. You would provide for them in this time, Lord God. It's not just about Afghanistan, but it's in places like oh, India, Pakistan, anywhere in the world, my Father, even here, my Father, Jesus, people are living in poverty and, and in, in difficult situations that you would open doors that only you can open, Father God, and shut doors that we are not meant to go through, Father, that you would provide for these people you would protect them father god father god for the people who need you at this hour lord jesus that you would let them know that you are there right by them side my father jesus we thank you father god for we ask for your mercy in this hour lord god we thank you abba father we thank you for this church father god that we have come together even if it's on zoom lord jesus we come together with one belief and knowing that you will not forsake us lord god we thank you for your goodness we thank you for your love thank you abba father thank you jesus hallelujah amen Thank you, Pastor Bright. Hallelujah. Thank you, Sister Sylvia, for that wonderful time. Lord, we pray, oh God, hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. We want to encourage everyone, amen, as much as possible. Please uh, do all you can in the world, hallelujah, to participate, hallelujah. We don't just, um, um, you know, uh, watch or, or, or spectate, hallelujah. This is a wonderful time of prayer as we are engaging to call upon the name of the Lord. What I usually say is that uh, in your mindset, just think of it as if you were physically there together, amen. And if you can, please try to turn your camera on so that we see you, hallelujah. We want to fellowship together as we cry out unto God. Don't forget, prayer is both vertical and horizontal, hallelujah. Vertically, we minister to our God and horizontally, we minister to ourselves. Hallelujah. We are now going to invite Sister Kathleen. Amen. Sister Kathleen, it's your turn. Amen. Over to you. Amen. Thank you, Pastor. 
I just want to open up with um, a Bible uh, scripture, Bible verse. Uh, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 22 to 24. The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. Mm. They are new every morning. Great is your faithfulness. Yes. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. Um, at this time, I just want us to pray for... Yes, we've been praying for families and uh, our children. Let us not forget at this time during the lockdown, let us pray for those who are living alone at the moment during this lockdown, who are isolated. Let us lift them up in prayer tonight. Amen. Yes, Lord, thank you for our lives. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We lift up those who are living alone tonight, Lord Jesus, during this lockdown, who are isolated from their families, Lord. We lift them up tonight, Lord. We ask that you'll strengthen them Lord Jesus, we plead the blood of Jesus over them from the crown of the head to the soles of their feet. We come against every plan of the enemy upon their lives, Lord Jesus. We come against every spirit of, um, every suicidal spirit. We come against it in the name of Jesus. We come against every spirit of depression in the name of Jesus. We command you to go in the name of Jesus. We up our family members. Whether we know any family members who are living alone, Lord Jesus, we ask that you strengthen them, Heavenly Father, especially during this time when the churches are closed. Many people find the church uh, for, as a refuge, Lord Jesus. Now that it is closed, Lord, we lift them up to you tonight, Lord Jesus. We ask that you strengthen them, Heavenly Father. May they never lose their hope in you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Um, my next prayer point, I want to pray for those who have fallen away from God. We lift them up to you, Lord Jesus, tonight, especially during this lockdown. Yes, Lord. As the Bible verse says, God's mercies are new every morning. So we lift up those who have lost their way, who have fallen away from God. We lift them up to you tonight, Lord Jesus. We lift up our family members, Lord Jesus, and we pray for them, Heavenly Father. Thank you for their lives. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for their lives. Thank you, Jesus. Lift them up to you tonight, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Pray for them, Heavenly Father, we've fallen away from you, Lord. May they know that no matter what, that doesn't matter if you've fallen far away from God, no matter what, no matter what you've done, God's mercy is new each and every morning. And that uh, just as we are assured that the sun will rise tomorrow morning, we can be assured that the new day, God's mercies are new each and every morning. So you don't need to worry. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. So we lift them up to you tonight, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord Jesus. We pray for those who are not saved, Lord Jesus. Lord, we pray. We lift them up to you. We come to you, Lord Jesus, with a repent with the whole heart, Lord Jesus. All God wants you to do is to repent wholeheartedly, and he will welcome you back home with open arms. So we lift them up to you tonight, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. We also pray for, next prayer point is uh, pray for the parents who are homeschooling. So we lift them up to you tonight, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. We lift up each and every parent, whether it be grandparents, aunties or uncles who have uh, have the responsibility of homeschooling um, children at home. Lord, we lift them up to you tonight. Lord, we ask that you strengthen them, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. We ask that you strengthen them. May they use this time also as a time to um, gather their children to learn more about God. Use this precious time to bring the children together and to equip them ready, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father, in these hard times, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for their lives. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Thank you, Pastor Bright. Amen. Thank you, Sister Kathleen. Thank you so much. Lord, we ask for your grace and your power, oh God. Continuously enrich and bless our sister in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Can I just encourage everyone, if you have a prayer point or something you want us to pray about, amen, you can um, uh, send a message to the um, uh, church admin if it's a private uh, mother, amen. Or you can put it on uh, the chat the chat uh, room here. Hallelujah! This uh, has a chat a chatting facility, and we will collect them and, and pray on them. Hallelujah! This is a prayer meeting, and we continue to cry out unto the Lord. Hallelujah! This time we're going to invite our sister, Sister Asha. Amen. Sister Asha is going to lead us in prayers now. So over to you, sister. Uh, thank you, Pastor Bright. 
in my face, uh, face I, would, I would like to thank God. And I would like really to thank him for like uh, for the shelter we are living in. What seems like a lot of people are living outside in the street, especially in this time, like it's cold and windy. But uh, we are we are grateful to God. We have this uh, shelter and we are able to meet in this uh, platform. So I'll start with um, just a short uh, song to God. Yeah. You are great, you do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. We give you the glory and the honor. Lord, I lift my hand to worship. And to praise your holy name, for you are great. You do miracles so great. There is no one else like you. There is no one else like you. God, we thank you. We glorify your holy name. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for whatever you give given to us, God. Even in the stuff we take it for granted, dear Lord. In this time, dear God, I lift all the homeless people into your loving and caring hands. God, protect them in whatever they are. Be with them, dear Lord. God, open the doors of your mercy to them, dear Lord. We know that we, you, there is nothing impossible for you, God. God, we thank you. We glorify your name. Rabbana bin ashkurak. Rabbana bin azimak. Laanak inta ilah azim. Inta ilah bita magdi. Inta ilah bita guwa. Inta ilah al-ghani la'intu kachir. Rabbana ilah nasama. Be guwa bita ki arabi. Muhabba bita ki arabi. Inta hat ahmin fi zaman bita hasida. Rabbana ilah nasama. Baba barikum. Rabbana ilah nasama. Fi zaman dhe bita kid bita hasida. Rabbana ilah nasama. Rabbana kun ma'am. Rabbana ilah nasama. Fi mashi bitaam. Fi jay bitaam. Ya Rabbana adim akir. Rabbana ilah nasama. Gattihum ya Rabbana bidam ibnak Yesu al-Masih. God we thank you. We glorify your name. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Yeah, for my next prayer uh, point, I would like to uh, pray for the sick. I know there is a lot of people who are sick and I'm, I, God is there. He knows what the, what is wrong with them, and He is able to heal them. I believe in His power in healing. In His healing power, He has done it before, and He will do it again. God, we thank you. We glorify Your name. God, you you said in Your holy Bible, "I am the Lord He healed thee." God, we believe in Your power. God, you've done it before, and You will do it again. God, you've turned the water into wine. God, God, you opened the the eyes of the blind. You are the merciful God. You are the powerful God. You are the way maker. You are the miracle work worker, dear Lord. God, we thank you, God. We lift them all of them in your loving and caring hand, God. Rabbana bin Rafaumi, Rabbana ilah nesama fi yadak. Rabbana inta gadra asham matashfiyum, Rabbana ilah nesama. You are the great position, dear Lord. Doctors can say, and they have the limit, but I believe in your healing power, God. You've done it, dear Lord, for the woman with the issue of the blood. And you can do it for anybody, dear God. We thank you, Lord. We glorify your holy name. Rabbana barikum, Rabbana ilahna sama, ya Rabbi shir kullu waja, Rabbana ilahna sama, ya Rabbi ayy insan fi waja, Rabbana ilahna sama, shiru be guru bitaak, Rabbana ilahna sama. Bidim ibnik yesu al masih, Rabbana ilahna sama. Rabbana inta gadi, Rabbana ilahna sama. Baba barikum, Rabbana ilahna sama. Ashfihum, ya Rabbi, ya Qaddus, ya Mubarak, ya Azim. Rabbana inta a عارف أمراض بتاعهم واحد واحد حتى إذا كان الدكاترة كانوا جنانين منهم لكن بقوة بتاعك ربنا إلهنا السماء because you are the Lord the Lord who healed them God we thank you we glorify your holy name in Jesus name I pray Amen. For my next prayer point I would like to pray and ask God to guide our pastors in Shawe Australia and protect them and be with them and with their families in Jesus name. God in, in heaven, I, I thank you for those show away uh, pastors and their family, dear Lord. For some bit of hassle, Rabbana ilah nesama. I beg you, give me a gift. Bita kal malian bechatay, lakin begu o bita kya Rabbana ilah nesama. My eye was open in that care, dear Lord. God, I never found as dear Rabbana ilah nesama. For yet, dear Rabbana ilah nesama. God, I. ربنا أنا برفع يا رب باستا ويليام وباستا كلاي في يدك ربنا إلهنا السماء يا رب هما خدان بتاعنا ربنا إلهنا السماء قادين يعملوا كلمة بتاعك ربنا إلهنا السماء ربنا خليك دائما معهم يا ربنا إلهنا السماء أديهم الحكمة ربنا إلهنا السماء بارك ومبارك أسرة بتاعهم بتاعهم ربنا إلهنا السماء ربنا أنت إله عظيم أنت إله مبارك أنت إله قادر ربنا إلهنا السماء ربنا خلي قوة بتاعك دائما معهم ربنا إلهنا السماء ربنا أنا برفع باستا برايت يا رب إلهنا السماء باستا جلوريا كمان في يدك ربنا إلهنا السماء يا رب بارك 
بارك اسره بتاعهم ربنا الهنا سماء بارك عيال بتاعهم ربنا الهنا سماء بارك شغل بتاعهم اللي هم بيعملوه ربنا الهنا سماء عشان ما يكونوا هم الرعاه ربنا الهنا سماء اللي بيجيبوا الشعب بتاعك اللي بيجيبوا خرفان بتاعك يا رب ده قريب بتاع حق ربنا الهنا سماء ربنا باركهم ربنا الهنا سماء بابا بنرفع يا رب باستلونا في يدك في يوم بتاع الليل يا ربنا الهنا سماء ربنا انت اله عظيم ربنا الهنا سماء بابا بارك ربنا الهنا سماء بارك اسره بتاعك ربنا الهنا سماء ربنا مرض الدكتور قال عند ربنا الهنا سماء بقوه بتاعك ربنا الهنا سماء انت حتشفيها ربنا الهنا سماء بابا انت اله عظيم بابا انت اله قدوس بابا انت اله مبارك ربنا الهنا سماء ربنا حتى من استس ان ذات شيء ربنا الهنا سماء من خد في يدك ربنا الهنا سماء ربنا باركهم ربنا الهنا سماء وخلي يا رب شغل بتاعهم يكون ماشي دائما يا ربي بقوه بتاعك ربنا الهنا سماء بابا غدوم ربنا الهنا سماء احفظهم ربنا الهنا سماء بابا بنعزمك ربنا بنمجد اسمك يا يفضل نبي فور ربنا الهنا سما يا ربنا وانت قلت اسك ان الشعبي جيفن انت يو ربنا الهنا سما ساك يو ان ادفانس جود بيكوز يو اوريدي يو انسرت ماي برير جود اي ثانك يو اغلوريفاي يور نيم اند اي اسك يو اول اوف ذيس ثينج ان ذا نيم اوف يور بلاف سان جيسس كرايس امين باك يو باستر برايت امين ثانك يو سيستر اشا هاليلويا لورد وي براي يور بليسنج ابون يور دوتر كونتينيوسلي ان جيسس نيم Hallelujah. We are now going to hand the um, leading over to Brother Sam. And um, Brother Sam is going to lead us now as we begin to cry out again unto the Lord. Brother Sam, over to you. Yeah, thank you, Pastor Bright. Good evening, everyone. Um, yeah, um, mine is going to be quick. Uh, but uh, first of all, I'd like to thank uh, like Auntie Aisha for that prayer point because she literally prayed, you know, she she really literally prayed what i have as a prayer point here and uh but before i dive into that i'd just like to uh, read uh, uh the scripture and that is uh i'm going to be reading from psalm 95 yeah and uh yeah so it says oh come let us sing unto the lord let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation let us come before his presence with thanksgiving and make a joyful noise unto him with psalms. For the Lord is great God and a great king above all gods. In his hand are the deep uh, pieces of the earth. The strength of the eels is his, is his also. The sea is his and he made it and his hands from the dry land. O come, let us worship and bow down. Let us kneel before the Lord our, our maker. For he is our God, and we are, his, we are the people of his pasture and the sheep of his hand. Today, if we will hear his voice. See, um, I so much believe in thanksgiving, and I so much believe in appreciating God. Because, again, I don't know whether, you know, we had the same experience. While growing up, anytime I'm with my dad or with my parents, I always feel secure. I feel safe. You know, I, I don't think about an attack. I don't think someone is coming to, I, I never thought of anyone harming me or anyone attacking me. I just felt this, you know, it's, it's, it's like a safe environment, you know? And whenever I, I, I think of God, I see God that way. That's why I always appreciate him every single day. That's why every, any time I, I want to pray, but during the day at night, I just can't stop thanking him. And the reason why is because I know I am secured as long as I'm with him. I know I'm secured. I know I'm safe. I don't think of any form of illness. I don't think of an attack from the devil. You know, instead of praying devil, 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 God is real. Yeah. Why not say God, God, God? Why always devil, de devil, devil, devil? Yeah. So I believe more on his blessings than on the causes of the devil. So that's why I always, I always thank God for everything. So I want us to thank God for our lives, thank God for our families, thank God for our loved ones, and you know, thank God for everything that he has done for us. We are here for a purpose. Remember that we're not here to just come and, you know, work, you see, go to church, go to work, come back and die. That's not our, there's a purpose why we are here. And let us pray, commit our lives into the hands of God. Thank him for everything so that the purpose, which he has, the reason why he has created us and brought us here will be fulfilled. So let us pray. 
Heavenly Father, oh Lord, commit our lives into your hands, commit our families into your hands, commit our, you know, the kids into your hands, the youth, oh Lord, into your hands. Heavenly Father, we pray, oh Lord, we know you've secured us, you've preserved us, you've kept us for a particular purpose, and that purpose must come to pass, that purpose must be fulfilled. We are not just a passerby. I am not a passerby. We use Shawwe as a point of contact. The, the church and all of us, we are not just a passerby. We are here for a purpose and that purpose will be fulfilled. That purpose must come to light. That purpose must come to, to the reality. We are not just going to come and die like just men. You know, we, we, we know we are here for a reason and that purpose, oh Lord, is what we want to see come to life in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Father, for our life lives we thank you and we pray oh lord that you reveal your purpose you know reveal the reason why you brought me here and use your name put your name in there oh lord say oh god i want you to reveal uh, uh, the reason why oh look how you look benga has been brought to this life put your name use yourself as a point of contact to reach as many we are not here to come and pay bills we are not here to come and join just you know you know make the environment a, a better place for you know for for life you see we are we are we are kingdom minded we are here for a purpose we are oh my goodness we are here to to deliver we are not here to consume we are not just a consumer we are here to deliver from the source that's why we are here and you need to know you need to know who you are you need to know the right of a believer and i pray father and we you see i i i keep i just can't stop thanking god for all his goodness and his and his favor and his blessings all these blessings upon us are there for, they are there for a purpose you are blessed with life you have life with you you have time that you're just wasting you have life that you're supposed to be using for a particular purpose. Don't waste it. Don't be a waster. Don't just be a consumer. Wasting, you know, wasting everything, wasting life. Don't be, you know, commit yourself. If you don't know, ask God. I want to know the reason why I'm here. Even Christ that came, oh Lord, that came to this world, he came for a purpose. Everyone that comes to this place, come, they, they are here for a purpose. And pray, thank God for all he has done for you. Thank God for the life. And thank God and pray that he reveals that purpose in your life. And, and for me, these are, these are key things. These are really, they are so relevant, you know, in me. I, I always focus on, you know, the purpose, you know. I always focus on the reason why he has brought me here. You know, life is not a coincidence, yeah. We are all from different nationalities, but we are here together in Australia. It's not coincidence. There's a purpose. There is a reason why we are here, and it needs to come to life. It needs, we need to fulfill our purpose here on earth before we go. Christ died, you know, when Jesus Christ came, he died at the age 33. No one wants to die at age 33 today. But again, he fulfilled the purpose why, of which he came to, 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 to life. So let us pray. I'm, I'm not saying we should pray for premature death. That's not what I'm saying. I said, let us pray for the, the reason why we are here. Let, our, let the purpose you know, come to light. Let us leave our, our purpose. Let us, let us leave the reason why we are here. Commit, okay, uh, also let us commit, oh Lord, the, 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 the youth, you know, into the hands of the Lord. Because in, in our current day, the youths, they don't really know, majority of them don't even know their bearing. They don't know where they are going. They don't know where they are supposed to. They don't know the, their end goal. Let us pray, oh Lord, that the youth will be enlightened. They will know the reason and the purpose why they are here. They will, they will be able to defend their faith. Let us pray, committing our youth and the young ones into the hands of the Lord. Because I tell you, you know, I, I even live with, with two teenage uh, youths here. In, in majority of them, they don't really, they don't actually know why, what they want to do. They don't want, they don't know how they want to go about doing what they want. They just want to live. Some just want to drink. Some just want to smoke. They just think life is just all about enjoyment. But there is this, you see, Life is more than that. So let us commit our youth into the hands of the Lord that they will be wiser, they will be smarter, 
they will be intelligent. They will know what is, they, they will know the, you know, the, 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 the wrongs and the, the rights. They will know the do's and the don'ts. They will know, oh Lord, how to, you know, and they will know that the word is, is a light to guide their path. They will embrace the word with all their hearts. They will so, store and secure the word of God in their hearts so that they can live a life that pleases God, a life of righteousness, not a life of the word, not a life of selfishness, not a life of greediness, but a life that will, you know, will glorify God. Just imagine seeing the youths, you know, moving the world, you know, shaking the world with the word of God. Just imagine the youths being the light of the world. Imagine the youths being the sort of this world. Oh, we pray, oh Lord, and we use uh, Shoreway youth as a point of contact to reach as many youth. We know, oh Lord, that as you're training them in this house, as you're grooming them, they will go and ignite and they will burn. They will burn like fire. They will ignite every single place and they will grow in you. They will ignite, oh Lord, and they will keep burning and they will burn for you in the name of Jesus. This is what I will pray. And we thank you, Father, for all you've done. Yes, there is crisis, but we don't see it. Yes, there is chaos, but we don't experience it because we are, you know, we, 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 we are in the presence of the Most High. We are not shaking. I, I, I live alone, but I don't feel isolated. I feel blessed. I feel full of God's grace. In fact, I feel like I am so busy in the Lord. Like I don't feel, you know, isolated. I don't feel pitied. No, I don't want to be pitied. I am in the Lord. I feel blessed. I feel glorious. I feel joyful. I feel happy. And I experience God's blessings every single day. And that's how it should be. Let us thank God for our life. Let us thank God. We are a believer. We are Christ-like. We are not any we are not anyone. We we carry Christ, uh, Christ. We live Christ. And let the world see Christ in us. When we walk, let them see Jesus in us. When we talk, let them see Jesus in us. When we think, let Jesus come in our thoughts. Oh God, this is what we pray, oh Lord. And I pray, committing the house into the hands, committing the, the, the church, committing the land, committing everything. You know that we need these things. And we say, oh God, thank you for delivering these things to us. And we I appreciate all this. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. Amen. Uh, back to you, Pastor. Hallelujah. Thank you, Brother Sam. Amen. Lord, we ask that you continuously be with your son. Bless and protect him in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. People of God, we are still praying. Hallelujah. I'm sure everybody is enjoying this um, wonderful time of prayer. We, a prayer request has come in for a lady called Benny, hallelujah. Her mom is not well, and we're going to pray for the healing power of God to touch Benny's mom, hallelujah. People of God, that's all we know about this person, but I assure you, God knows her more than we can ever know. So let's pray and lift up Benny's mom before God this evening, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we lift that woman before you, O God. Lord, because we believe in the balm of Gilead, we believe in your healing power, even today, O God. Lord, whatever the illness, whatever the ailments, whatever the disease, Lord, let your power begin to touch that woman right now, O God. As we intercede on our behalf, O God, we release the healing power in the name of Jesus to touch and heal her from the crown of her head to the sole of her feet in the name of Jesus. We rebuke that sickness from her in Jesus' name. And Lord, we ask for your healing power to touch in Jesus' name. Make whole in Jesus' name. Yes, Lord, is done. Hallelujah. Amen. People of God, this time, hallelujah. Uh, if there's any other prayer points, like I said, feel free to put it on the chat or you can message uh, the church administrator and we'll pray for uh, uh, you know the prayer points. But at this time, I just want us to lift up our cousins uh, uh, on the other side of the Tasman before God. Amen. I'm sure we all have been watching the news and seeing uh, what happened in New Zealand. Amen. We're just going to pray right now and take authority over the hand of the devil against that nation and pray that the power of God be established and will quell and bring into submission every plan of the enemy concerning that nation. People of God, let's open our mind and begin to pray. 
Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we decree in the name of Jesus. We speak peace to New Zealand in the name of Jesus. Lord, we declare in the name of Jesus, New Zealand has peace now in Jesus' name. We destroy the work of the enemy. We destroy the plan of the enemy to destabilize the nation in the name of Jesus. We just pray, oh God, hallelujah. Let your power reign in that nation, oh God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Let your power reign in that nation in the name of Jesus. Let your glory reign in that nation in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Yes, Lord, we thank you because your glory and your power is on that nation in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. At this time, people of God, we're going to pray for our, our beloved pastor, Pastor Philip Marshall, which I'm sure everyone here knows. Amen. We're going to lift up Pastor Philip before God. Hallelujah. You see, our God is a miracle working God. There's nothing beyond his reach. There's nothing that he cannot do. Amen. I want you to just begin to lift Pastor Philip Marshall before God now and ask that our God's healing power uh, begin to touch him even right now. Ah, uh, just let's begin to pray. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we pray, oh God. Hallelujah. We bring Pastor Philip before you, oh God. Father, you've done it before. You can do it again, oh God. You are the redeemer of Israel, oh God. You are the redeemer of our bodies, oh God. Lord, we ask you right now that your healing power touch Pastor Philip, oh God, in Jesus' name. Lord, we believe only your report, oh God, in the name of Jesus. Lord, we cry out unto you on behalf of the pastor, oh God, because you are able, oh God. You are able, oh God, in Jesus' name. Nothing can hold back your power. Nothing can hold back your hand, oh God. And therefore, Lord, we release your healing power to touch him in Jesus' name. Lord, touch him, oh God, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we pray in Jesus' name. Hallelujah, amen, hallelujah. Everybody still there, amen. At this time, we're also going to pray for a young man. Uh, he's in Kenya, I believe, at the moment. We're going to pray. His name is Paul, uh, Paul and he has a brain tumor. Only a very young man, amen. For uh, Teller, we're going to pray for this young man the brain tumor, and believe that God will reach out and touch that tumor and cause it to begin to shrink in the name of Jesus. Let's pray, people of God. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, we pray, oh God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We pray for Paul Tyler, oh God, in the name of Jesus. We pray for Tyler, in the name of Jesus. Touch him, oh God, in Jesus' name. We rebuke that brain tumor. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, because we believe in your power, oh God, your healing power. Even right now, we speak life in Jesus' name. We speak healing unto Paul in Jesus' name. Lord, touch him with your mighty power, oh God. Bring healing to that brain in Jesus' name. You bring tumor, we rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We speak the power of the Holy Ghost to touch that brain now in yes, Jesus' Lord, name. Hallelujah. Touch that tumor by the power, right oh God, right in now, Jesus' right name. Now. Let Receive that tumor begin to shrink in the name of Jesus. Let that tumor begin to shrink in the name of Jesus. And yes, Lord, in Jesus' name, you bring restoration to the glory of your name in the name of Jesus. Yes, Lord, we bless you in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. We cry out unto you because we know you are the healer, oh God. And because we know that you are the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Before I hand over to Pastor William, I want to thank everyone for being here this evening. Hallelujah. It's a wonderful time. Amen. Uh, next week, by the grace of God, we're going to continue. And those of you who I haven't contacted, uh, I wouldn't say I'm coming for you, but I want to <laughs> get ready. Get ready. Hey, if I haven't contacted you to lead yet, get ready. Hallelujah. Uh, you, can, you can start being in front of the mirror from today and start to practice how to lead prayer on Zoom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know about you, but it's such a wonderful time. Amen. For the children of God to come together and pray. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to encourage you with these words before I hand over to Pastor William. Luke 21, 28. He says, and when these things begin to come to pass, then look up, lift up your heads for your redemption. Draw it now. Hallelujah. We know that our redemption draweth nigh. Hallelujah. Pastor William, over to you. Amen. 
Come on, everybody, lift up your two hands to the Lord. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Rabba, ba, shanda, rabba. We speak a blessing over every soul right now. Hallelujah. Go ahead, go ahead, lift up your hands. Begin to exhort him. Begin to thank God for the mighty miracle he's doing right now. Hallelujah. With the let the healing power of God right now. We pray for our yes, it's our patience, uh, and our uh, uh, poros. We commit them to your hands, oh God. We pray for our court. We pray for our Kingsley. We lift all of them before you, oh God. We pray for all the people who are passing through issues right now. Father God, you have come to destroy all the work of the devil. So right now, we command the peace of God. Go ahead, lift up your hands. Uh, begin to receive a fresh, fresh anointing over your life right now. Receive the blessing of the Lord. Uh, receive the power of the Lord. Uh, begin to march up from glory to glory. This pandemic is not going to know your portion. In the name of Jesus Christ, uh, you receive a fresh anointing. Oh, receive your healing now. In the name of Jesus, my God Almighty, raise you up. May he lift you up. May he deliver you. May he set you free on fire. Let the fire of God burn upon your life right now, right now, right now, right now. Begin to march out from glory to glory. You are favored of the Lord. Uh, God Almighty will establish you in the midst of the darkness. Uh, the light of God will shine upon your life. Hey, la baba, so korobo shanda la ba kayanda la ba. Go ahead, uh, lift up your hands and uh, uh, begin to receive the blessing. Hallelujah. Uh, God is so mighty. He is so powerful. He has done wonderful things. Uh, our God never failed. He never disappointed. He never let us down. No matter the darkness, God will always come through. For his name shall be called wonderful. The mighty God, the everlasting Father. Oh, the, the King of glory, the Prince of peace. Father, we thank you for tonight. Too. Bless all the people that pray to God. We ask you, Father God, as we come together on a Sunday. Oh God, through this medium, oh God. Lord, you bless your people, enlighten your people, energize your people, that oh God, shackles are broken down. There's a new life today, a new fire today coming to our life, oh God. We'll receive it, Father. Be glorified, be exalted. Thank you, Father, in Jesus' name. Somebody amen. say amen. amen. Somebody say amen. amen. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Just quickly before we amen. begin to go, can I just thank you all for coming tonight? Uh, but we have a couple of announcements to just make to you that uh, uh, this Wednesday, from Wednesday, our Bible study is going to be on the Zoom. We're going to have our Bible study now on Zoom. So uh, we want to make sure that everybody uh, participates. So please, we'll send you, we'll send you the ID we, uh, because we cannot, uh, just for this season only. So every Wednesday for, until we go back to normal, we want to make sure you, please, 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 I plead with you. Prayer is prayer and the word of God are the two important things for our soul to get stronger. So please join the Bible study. Let us study together. Pastor Brad has been preparing and preparing and preparing. And all the pastors, Pastor Lorna sent a greetings to you. She's got some other appointments today, so she couldn't come here. But we are so thankful because God has given us victory in the midst of the enemy's power. Hallelujah. So, uh, and secondly, also, let me also remind you that on Sunday, you know, during the service, uh, we also have the Zoom meeting. So please, Join in, pop in, say hello, and let's fellowship mm -hmm. together. May God bless you all, and let's open our microphone now, our, uh, unmute yourself, and greet the people of God. Look at everybody, so greet each other, and say hello to each hello, other. Hello, everyone. Hello. Hi, everyone. Hello. 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 Hi. Hello. Hi. Hello. Hello. Thank you guys for praying. That was Hi, powerful. Amen. Amen. Thank you yeah. to everyone for yeah. praying. That was really good. I just want to say to everybody, I just want to say that, you know what, I've learned English at an old age. That is why I can't, when I want to connect with God, I have to go to the language I know better. Yeah, Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.
Hello, Good to see you, bro. Good to see you, bro. <laughs> nice to see everyone. The devil is a liar. I can wonder. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bless you all. Have a wonderful God weekend. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. God bless you. Bye, bye. Don't be late on Sunday. I hope everybody's good. God bless. Yeah, actually, yeah. 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 Everyone have a good night. Have a good night. Uh, and galaxy. God bless you guys. Galaxy. Bye. Bye, everybody. Where's mommy? Nobody wants to go. Nobody wants to go.